My name is Frankie Smith. I'm 15. And soon, very soon, I'm gonna be a daddy. It's a full-time job getting ready to be that. Between going to the meetings with the social workers, reading books, minding it all, never ends. So you're going to be helping her with the breathing, you're going to be giving her iced water, you're going to be encouraging her. It says in the book, antenatal care is important. It says it's good for the baby's brains, you know. Can I go in and watch? No. Why not? Because they're private classes. Of course, the mother thinks it's a load of shite. That she never went to any classes when she was having me and my sisters. Are we turned out all right? Look, you're going to have to go now. Now look. You've upset the child. I told her I wouldn't call any of us all right. Having a fucking brain between the three of us. Leanne left school. I left school. Laura sis she hasn't even started school yet. But she spends all day bashing her head off things. She's wearing a helmet when she goes outside to play. That's us turning out, all right? Excuse me. We're not me choice and here. They treat like shit. Up to return is your best bet. There's not one fella that I know that's fit to be a father. And I'll tell you one thing, it's not going to be me. My older sister, Leanne, has a child with this fella, Paul. Leanne works five nights of the week in the Chinese, and the other fucker won't get up to scratch himself. Daddy. Jesus. She won't leave her in the house with him anymore. Has to send her to a babysitter now when she goes to work. My younger sister, Laura, my half-sister. Now, who are lad? He takes the biscuit. Daddy! Hey, uh, how are you doing? Yeah. He's supposed to see every third weekend. Rocks up to the house every once in a blue moon. Takes her to the pictures of McDonald's. There's a back in his door set by six o'clock. Dense bastard, if ever there was one. Last week he brought us to see the seed of Chucky. The stupid cunt thought it was a cartoon. Mommy across the road there. And here's the fucking Grim Reaper come behind her now. How are you, Liam? He's like a bull, because his hands out, Yvonne, invited me over to the house for dinner tonight. He wanted to see the head him when he found out she was pregnant. Look, seven shades of show you me, he is. Hasn't let me near the place since. I'm telling you, Suzanne, he's not right in the head. Frankie. You're mad, Ed Hardy. Hard man, aren't you? I'm winning them muppets. They're as innocent. Yeah, hey, Frankie, come here a minute. He used to pile around with them. I was always getting myself into trouble. See that lanky bastard there? Frankie! He's got half a dozen kids Frankie. in this estate. The fuck doesn't one of them? Frankie! Shut up! Hey, you fucking retard! Hey, you fucking retard! It says in one of the books that it's important that you spend time looking into the child's eyes. It's called mirroring. You need to let the child look into your eyes. And then when he smiles, you smile back. You get some sort of comfort from her. It's to make them understand that they're normal. The 
social workers asked me last week at the disciplinary meeting what I thought made a good father. Got a bit nervous then. I don't know why. Well, because you're all looking at me. I says, I didn't really know a lot about that. And I says, someone who puts food on the table and has a brain in their head, I suppose. They didn't say anything to that. Throw it down their copies. Suzanne says, the royal lad is a good dad because he tells them all jokes and brings them home a romantic dessert on Fridays. Been back and bought the clothes. Might as well. Cost fuck all. I look well up in front of George Brennan for nicking baby's clothes. Last time I was up, he says to me, Frankie, you must like standing up here in front of me, do you? I says, to tell you the truth, Your Honor, I just like seeing my name in the paper. He laughed at that, he did. Wasn't serious, Your Honor. Just fighting. I finished with that now, though. Can't be causing trouble with a child in the waist as you. I'm not showing it to you, deaf bitch. Frankie. What? Her ma told me I have to be over at the house tonight. I have to ask her what time. Ring her after school. I've no credit. I'm not going anywhere till you get out of class. I don't give a fuck. I'm calling the guards. Call the guards. See our man there that was calling the cops, Mr. Gorman. But him for maths, right? Wouldn't even look at us. Just stand there at the top of the class doing sums on the board. Heard me going mental at him. He'd just be chatting away to himself. X equals Y. I felt like saying to him, Hello, you stupid cunt. There's no one listening to you. Little girl, is it? Yeah. Rose? Yep. Are you still with the mother? I am. That's good. Daddy. I'll see you. Me and my older sister, Leanne. The area lad took after us after I was born. He was in a band and he was always way on tour. Or so the mother thought anyway. Then some mental bitch from Monaghan turned up on the doorstep, telling her she was his wife and he'd rake the kids with her. She said if she came near him again, she'd burn the house down. Leanne says she remembers the roars of her. Oh, I can't remember, because it was only a baby. We never heard a pee from him again anyway. You see the place around here the old time. 